Hello guys and gals, this is Carmina, Beauty Diva, and this is my first video and my first makeup tutorial for 2017. So today we are doing a gothic look. Um, it was supposed to be a New Year's look, but it didn't happen that way. So I am using the Kat Von D Interstellar palette to do this look. Very beautiful shades. I will be doing a product review of this palette which will include live swatches so be stay tuned for that video coming up soon and I hope you enjoy this makeup tutorial it was supposed to be a cut crease it was supposed to be a New Year's look but ended up being none of those <laughs> it ended up being very gothic um, so I hope you enjoy it and you thumbs up the video subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends so happy new year and hope to see you soon and hear from you in the comments and it's okay to make mistakes because we all try to be the best that we can be money cannot buy okay get it together better act right everybody get together yelling black lives and if you want to see a difference open your eyes they got me singing on the clouds full of from the skies Somebody hold me It feels like I'm falling Now I can't hold my So we are starting our makeup with our prepping our skin with the NYX Q10 Elixir which is very affordable and it's great for moisturizing the skin Now we are going to use the Rodeal Skin Tint which is the first time I use it in a makeup tutorial it has anti-aging benefits and it's really good. Um, I actually went a little too much with it so it kind of looks like a white cast. But it does blend really well and I love this Chanel brush that I got, foundation brush. Excellent for applying foundation. Now I'm putting the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, which is my eye primer. It's not my favorite, but since we're doing Kat Von D, I'm going to keep it up. Now we start with the palette. I did a little base coat with that lichen, which is like a yellowish color to the base. Blend that in. Then I went in with the Vast, which is kind of like a brownish, light brown color. And then did the crease with the Oreo. Just try to get into the crease to darken the crease. I was trying to do a cut crease, but that didn't happen. So these colors blend so well. All of them blended very well together and as you can see it's getting darker and it's just two brown colors together. Now with a slanted eyeliner brush I started putting that Lunacy which is like a purple color which is so pretty. Um, of course I was trying to do a cut crease that did not happen. And then I blended that in with this Chanel blending brush which I absolutely love also. Really, really happy. Then for the lid, I use Moonshine, which is a beautiful metallic silver. Absolutely love it. I did show this. Um, oh, well, I actually blended the crease color, a little bit of the lid color, just so we'll have a harsh line, as you can see. Um, but actually, I didn't show this off camera, but at the end I took a makeup wipe and just cleaned the sides, so as you can see it's more clean. Now I took the lichen and I used it as an under eye highlight, which is really really pretty. I think it was really nice, it's very subtle, but it was there. Now I am going to do more highlighting. I used this Essence Pure Nude Highlighter to do the bridge of my nose. And my cupid's bow. I don't really use it on my cheeks because it doesn't really show, but I, for the nose and the cupid bow, it does. I just love the formula of this highlighter. Now I am using my favorite e.l.f. Aqua Bronze Violet Blush Bronzer Duo. The blush is just beautiful. Highly pigmented, so you gotta go 
very softly and build it in and as you can see it is so pretty and I did use the bronzer to contour my nose which I wasn't able to show now I am highlighting again with the Wet n Wild illuminating palette and I used that golden color at the end of the palette for my cheeks I feel like this gives it more than the essence work, work, work. you can see on the and I just blend that with the um, blush, so it looks like natural, because this tends to have like little sparkles, so when you blend it, it looks more natural. I was a little crazy, and I did more highlighting on my nose, I don't know why, but I put the rose gold one the same palette on my nose and I blended that. I was just going to highlight crazy. Tattoo Junkie Lip Paint in the color Vixen which I absolutely love and I have a review on this lipstick which I will link below too. And I also topped it off with the Moonshine shadow on top of my lips. This is what it looked like. So this is the final look. Yes, I have red hair and I have extensions. This is my new look for New Year's. So if you liked it, thumbs it up and subscribe to my channel.